Well, I've learned some <laughs> interesting things about Sam that I never knew before. I've learned he was quite an arm twister. <laughs> Almost every, everybody who's come up so far has told him some experience of that nature. Sam, I feel a little left out. Sam never twisted my arm. <laughs> <laughs> But I have an observation along those lines, and that is that in spite of Sam's obviously successful ability to get people to do things, at Mission Chapter Toastmasters, he took on for I don't know how many years, I'm sure Grace and Ron know that, the rather dirty job of sergeant at arms. It's, it's, um, it's not the most fun type of officer job. You have to be here before anybody else, and you leave after everybody else, and you're setting things up, often with help, of course. And you have to be responsible for lugging the supplies there. You have to be consistently there, otherwise the meeting isn't going to go very well. So it's kind of an unsung hero job, and it's one that Sam, to my knowledge, never twisted anybody else's arm to do. He did it himself. My impression of Sam the man, again, in spite of all these untwisting stories I've heard so far, was that of a very gentle and a very kind man. It was just something about his charisma, about the way he would shake your hand and greet you and look you in the eye, and the way he spoke when he got up to give his a report of some kind or acknowledge uh, some guest at the meeting. It was just quiet, gentlemanly, super confident, and that's the way he's, he gave his speeches also. And they were fine speeches. Many of them recalling his days uh, as a ranger, forest ranger, and always anecdotes that made their point held your attention. And uh, I like that very much about Sam. I was uh, privileged to be part of Power Talk for the last few years. Some years ago, he invited me to uh, do one of those breakout sessions. And I liked it. I came back the following year and the year after that. And felt a loss when it, it didn't happen this past November. And I have great hopes and expectations that it will continue on in one form or another. Because it, I could see in the sessions that I attended from those who came, who were part of the student body of City College, that they were touched and inspired by what they heard and that this message would help them for, for time, uh, a long time to come. So it was a good, a good work, and a good legacy for Sam. One of so very many. So it's nice to learn that there was some steel under, underneath this kind of gentleman. <laughs> when he he saw. He saw an opening for something to get done, and he knew that it would be useful to the person who was doing it, as well as to those who would be on the receiving end of those good works. And that's, that's just part of Sam. I miss him very much. And 
like the rest of you don't have a picture.